So what's one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of young throwers make? Oh God, oh man. They practice this, and when you do this one thing all the time, it carries over into your throw and it's no good. And we're gonna talk about what to do, how to avoid it in this video. Check it out. Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and in today's YouTube video we are going to discuss a couple of simple tips and I'm joined by my ace discus thrower Jason Harrell. He has a 65 48 meter PR ranked 23rd in the world in 2018. So today Jason's going to help me out. We're going to go through a couple of things and one of the big things that we want young throwers or throwers in general to understand is when you're training don't finish the throw. <laughs> But before we get to the finish and not finishing the throw, we're just gonna kind of walk through and I wanted to just show young throwers what walking through the throw means. So we kind of do this and we refer to, we hit our six pillars and you're gonna notice as Jason kind of walks through to hit and go through from start to finish from his one to six, we're gonna kind of watch how he's moving, how he thinks about the throw and how he's controlling position. So many times I see young throwers and young coaches and they're kind of, they're basically doing the wrong thing. So what I'm gonna do is have Jason kind of set up and the first thing we're gonna kind of do is we'll have, we'll walk through and we'll kind of show Jason as he sets up is pillar one. So we're, that's our wind and that's where we have a ton of things going on, but you're gonna notice one of the core things that's gonna help him set up his throw is staying center. And that's one of the recommendations we me. Eliminate movement, stay center on the wind up. We'll create better tension and stretch reflex. Okay, so Jason's gonna go. So you're gonna notice how Jason stays up. You stay centered and notice that little swing, right? So I'm gonna have him do that one more time and watch when he winds and you're gonna notice his body kind of sling back forward and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to set up the right tension so that he can create the right movement into his pillar two. So I'll have Jason go to his pillar two, so that's his one, and then I'll have him just kind of do his thing. But you're gonna notice how when he focuses on that, he's moving his hips this way, he's keeping this arm extended. I want him to keep his arm a little bit more here to take a little bit of a longer path, but you're gonna notice the position of his sweep leg. He's moving the right side, the sweep leg side, with the entry side, so everything's moving out and around the axis. So Jason, let's see, we'll have Jason go to a pillar three. So he'll go to his three, and one of the things about Jason's throw we talk about is that he has a little bit of a narrower sweep and that's just kind of indicative to his style. And so it is an important point that we want a wider sweep, but for him and the things we worked on, the narrower sweep was just something we, are, we work on that we don't want to change his throw too much. So he's going to do a sprint counter drill is what we talk about. So this is where we're going to create some counterbalance. And then what he's going to do is he's going to do a sweep step into the middle, a push pull. So he's gonna land, he's gonna push off the left, pull it into the power position. This is his three, four, five position. And notice how he's landing, heel up. One of, the, one of our recent YouTube videos we talked about, don't drop the heel in the middle. That's how it enables him to maintain the proper axis through the delivery and notice where he stops. So watch, I'm gonna have Jason just do a throw as if he was gonna be doing a, you know, like a training drill, a walkthrough, and watch what he will naturally do. So go ahead. So you'll notice him set, he'll kind of walk through, and you're gonna notice that is what we're talking about. Don't finish the throw. One of the biggest mistakes you see with all beginning throwers is that they're always trying to practice ripping through the throw, and one of the biggest things you're gonna notice with most elite throwers is that once they hit this, now he'll go through and he'll mimic trying to hit his finish. But it's always the, the goal, which you'll see on most throwers is, they're trying to get to the pillar five or power position and hold that separation and they wanna see the, the, the stretch and the tension that's gonna bring them through the throw. And that is a huge detail because it teaches you the proper timing of feeling your block arm, your block leg, and your delivery side and delivery arm. And when you're just rushing through, that's gonna cost you distance. So there's your tip for today. Jason, you got anything to say? I got nothing. All right, so thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment below for any other videos you'd like to see, and we will see you on the next video. I got it. Oh, nailed him. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.